A humanitarian crisis is brewing at the southern border in Texas. Thousands of migrant children have been making the dangerous journey without their parents and facilities at the border are crammed with kids. And that's why the Biden administration is using the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center to house up to 3000 boys for the next few months. 200 are expected to arrive in Dallas tonight. Matt Howerton is live downtown. Uh, what are you learning about these teenagers and, and what they're facing? Well, Chris, this first wave of teens, we're told, is primarily from Guatemala and El Salvador, almost 2,000 miles from here. So being that far from home, starting a new chapter in America, it has to be nerve-wracking. They're not here right now. When they do get here, they'll be tested for COVID-19, get settled in, and they will begin waiting after that to be reunited with family members as their immigration cases begin. And an attorney tells us that wait could be some time. Security is tight. Supply trucks coming, going. We saw final preps to the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center Wednesday, just hours before welcoming a first wave of migrant teens from the U.S.-Mexico border, who will temporarily call this building home. It's nerve-wracking. It's hard. The wait is hard. Paul Zoltan is a Dallas attorney specializing in immigration cases involving children. He calls this a perfect storm. Many are fleeing violence and hardship south of the border at a time when a new president is changing gears on immigration policy, allowing unaccompanied minors into the U.S. as they wait to see a judge, a first since Trump left office. The policy shift could not have been more um, dramatic. And it can create issues. Federal authorities are overwhelmed, and Zoltan fears reuniting unaccompanied kids with family in America may be challenging due to the deportation stances the Trump White House took. It's no longer true that their names are turned over to ICE. Families are skeptical still. Um, about their security. President Biden is now asking migrants to delay coming to America, asking for time to streamline a new immigration system. The administration has yet to provide answers that Texans deserve. Governor Greg Abbott critical of the president in Dallas Wednesday, saying children making the journey are being enticed by Biden's policies and may be exploited by cartels or human traffickers along the way, even though he provided no stats to back that up. But the White House standing firm. Our policy continues to be we're not going to send a 10 year old back across the border. That was the policy of the last administration. Now, I want you guys to take a look right now. We're seeing a live picture. We just saw multiple charter buses uh, arriving here at the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center. This is likely going to be those migrant teens arriving here pretty late at night, just three minutes after the hour. If a teen does test positive for COVID-19, we're told they'll be placed inside a hotel. Abbott also expressing concern today that this surge at the border would bring new COVID variants to Texas. He caught some flack for that from his opponents online. Because, of course, as you might know, last week the state lifted its statewide mask mandate at Abbott's direction. We'll throw it back to you live in the studio. But for now, in Dallas, Matt Howerton. All right, Matt, we'll keep an eye on those buses and, and what's happening there at the convention center. Uh, obviously, it's a pretty big area, but tonight we learned the government is also scoping out a second site at the old Dick Sporting Goods store in Irving. The sources tell us a developer in California owns the property and it's been offered to DHS as another housing site. If that plan is approved, we've learned FEMA could put up to 450 more undocumented children there. Not everyone agrees with this move and some say it illustrates a much bigger problem. Others see the children caught in the middle and just want to help. Local nonprofits like Dallas Catholic Charities and Dallas Area Interfaith are looking for volunteers, especially if you speak Spanish too. To learn more, just text the word HELP to 214-977-6028. We'll send a list of resources right to your phone.